we're uh, a sample up here of what to do when you're living on the beach. If you have a property on the beach and you build back for your outlook, you li that way you don't have to put rock walls up. You let Mother Nature do the work for you and it's always there. And you're not bothering other people's land. So, that I like when people do that. Because you learn from the old people. If you look at all the old homes, none of them is built on the water. They're built on high land. They're built back from the ocean. They had fish buildings on the shore uh, because they had to work from the shore. But now people want to get on the shore, and but they destroy their own piece of land that they, they buy when they do that. The people's got to learn that you can get a better look out when you're back from the shore because you get your greenery, you get your birds, you got your lakes or little ponds, you got everything's there in front of you, not just the ocean. My major concern is that although Queens County did bring in zoning for coastal areas or rural areas, um, other counties haven't done it and I think the province should set a, set a minimum standard mm -hmm. so counties aren't comp being um, put in competition with each other in giving way to things that maybe shouldn't be allowed. For one thing, the province can get a setback, a good setback, and not not let people uh, go inside of it. And they need it for all the coasts, so every municipality has to do the same thing. So neither one of them is left out. That's the one th thing that they need along the coast right now. 